Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. So, creepy music playing in the background, I know. Seven hours left on this fire, seven hours of darkness left. I do want to go ahead and cook this meat on this fire while we're sitting in our snow shelter nice and protected. I don't know that I'm going to cook every single bit of it, but this is good skill generation. We are exhausted, so I definitely do need to get some sleep, but... There is a rule among Long Dark players that I think is a good rule. It's not one that I've always been very good with, which is that you should never waste a fire. We've got a nice long fire going right now. We went to the trouble of getting everything we needed. Okay, we're actually about to start losing condition due to being thirsty as well, so we need to be careful. Um, we went to the trouble to get everything we needed, so we should, of course, of course, use it to cook some of this stuff. Our cooking skill just went up. That's fantastic. All right, let's finish cooking. So we'll take a look before we go to sleep. We've got six hours darkness left, so still plenty of time to sleep. Also, having the raw meat off of us makes us less susceptible to predators walking up and giving us trouble. All right, so let's do one more thing just for good measure. We're going to drink some herbal tea. That's going to warm us up, protect us from the cold just in case, and it's going to give us better rest to help us recover some condition. So five hours darkness left. Let's go ahead and rest. We need to sleep for, let's say, six hours. We're getting a nice warmth bonus from the bed as well. So we're getting an additional warmth bonus on top of the warmth bonus that we're getting from our snow shelter. So we are nice and toasty out here. And I think our fire will still be going when we wake up. Oh, wait, no. Might have gotten blown out. Yeah, it did. It might have just gone out a moment ago. But notice it's still 40 degrees inside our shelter, all things considered. If it were a blizzard right now, we'd be in trouble. But otherwise, we're actually still warm in here. Which is awesome. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is now we're going to eat some of this wolf meat. One very important note. In this difficulty level, and especially on Pilgrim, there is no risk to eating carnivore meat. In stalker and interloper difficulty, you would get a risk of intestinal parasites because you're eating carnivorous meat. You can't just eat wolf meat like there's no tomorrow. You have to be careful. So what I'm doing right now is actually quite rare in my playthroughs of the Long Dark because wolf meat, you normally have to, you can eat it, but you can only eat, say, one steak a day, right? Because it takes a day for the symptoms to wear off. So just something to bear in mind. Now, I'm actually going to, just to show you what this can be like, I'm going to rest for a few more hours. It was like 48 degrees. So we're doing great in here. Uh, we're still kind of tired. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to rest a little bit longer. Now, this is the disadvantage, you know, when you sleep a little bit at a time, you don't actually recover condition as much because you need to fall into a deep sleep to get the condition um, increase to really speed up. Ah, oh, this is one of the best tracks in the Long Dark soundtrack. Alright, well, I'm going to step outside of the snow shelter real quick. We can repair it using a stick. Snow shelter condition is still at 93%. I'll repair it and then step away, and I'm actually... We're going to enjoy this track while it plays. I'm going to keep walking around. That was a good night.
This is a somewhat new thing right here. Those of you who haven't played Long Dark in a while. Scrub brushes are a thing now. Take a little bit longer to harvest, but there's seven sticks in one. So you might have noticed a little bit of a bonus there as well. There were there were not three, but four crow feathers around the bodies, around that body. There were typically, there are typically rather, only three crow feathers. Anytime that you find a body with crows circling it. Now you should pick up the crow feathers because they're useful in crafting arrows. But they're not always four, but there were four that time, which is nice. So we're going to head up here. And again, we're going to finish exploring some of the rear areas of Mystery Lake. And then I think it will be time to head back to our cabin. And we should have some deer hides that are pretty close to fully cured. Might take a few more days. But we can start crafting things. And then I need to fish... Maybe we need to find, we need to go back to our snare that we set by Trapper's Homestead, see if we can find a bunny. Maybe set the snare again, set another couple of stairs, snares rather. Anytime you're in an area that is surrounded by bunnies, you can put a snare in that spot and you'll generally find one later on. Okay, here's a backpack. I'm pretty sure we haven't been up here in this series yet, right? I hope not. Oh, we have been up here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. It's one of the first places we went. Okay. I'm glad I remembered. I'll tell you what then. Let's um let's go down this direction. We talked about the fact that there wasn't a body down at the bottom. Sometimes there is when there's a backpack. Alright, let me Alright, being a little risky with my sprain meter here. But I'm gonna go to the top of this creek and then follow it all the way down, because I want to check for cattails. And we can actually make our way back. Speaking of checking on the um Speaking of checking on the... Hey, there's a wolf. Damn. All right, can't go where I wanted to. I wanted to go all the way to the top and make my way down, but... I mean, I suppose I could kill the wolf and get its hide. But, um... I was saying speaking of something a moment ago, a moment ago but that wolf completely distracted me. I don't remember what I was going to say. I'm just going to go down this way. haven't encountered any bears yet this series. They definitely exist, and they do exist in this difficulty mode. They're just somewhat rare, especially in Mystery Lake. You can generally hear them coming if you know what to listen for. Okay, here we go. Hey, cattails in a rock. Lovely. <laughs> Gotta keep a lookout. Right, there's two. There's three. Remember, this is kindling and food. Every single one that you pick. I'm just gonna kind of... I didn't have the opportunity to do this last time I was here because of the weather. So now I'm just gonna kind of circle the pond and look for any of those cattails. Actually, pretty encumbered. I'm going to head back to the Trapper's Homestead next. Because I want to check that snare for a bunny. I don't think I missed any back there. There's some over here, though. Again, I cannot recommend enough really looking for reliable sources of cattails. Places in the game world where cattails spawn in abundance, especially on higher difficulty levels like Stalker or Interloper. The amount of food that you get, just the density of these is, is relatively high. Not only in, in, in each single item, the amount of calories you get, but also the number that you tend to find, the density in an area, not the calorie density, but just how many are in each spot. Like, notice how many I'm picking up right now. This is, you know, over a thousand calories easily. It's closing in on 2,000 calories, you know? Like, this is, these are huge finds. Again, particularly when the game gets tougher.
Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to head back to the homestead. And we'll check that uh, snare that I put out. Here's another stick. Let's go ahead and eat some of these lighter deer steaks. So yes, I just left that um, that shelter where I put it. You can do a couple of different things. You can pick it back up, and you don't get all the materials back when you when you break it down, but you get some of them back. You can kind of take it with you and reestablish later, and it'll be easier to reestablish because you got some of the materials back. But on this difficulty level, it's relatively easy to come across the materials again. Now here's a couple of deer. These are the ones I wanted to hunt earlier in the series. But I didn't have the chance. I think I can kill them both and possibly skin them both. Let's see. Let's get a little closer. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just going to come over here, line up a good clean shot, as opposed to shooting you in the ass. <laughs> okay, that's a little better, but I want to get closer, and I would prefer a little bit more of a broadside shot. That one I can probably take, but if I shoot one, the other will run. See? That's what I'm talking about. That was... That was the first non-kill shot of the entire series. Alright, so two bullets, one kill. Not what you want. Especially when you feel like you lined the shot up well enough. But again, as the, as the higher skill level set in, that's less of a worry. Okay, the other one stopped. Once again. Let's see if he comes back my way. Come on, man. I mean, he's been shot. So he's going to run around until he dies. Ah, oh, there's fog rolling in. There you are. Come on, just a little farther. Gotcha. Alright. So that's four bullets. Not an ideal situation. But, we'll make do. So this is a lot of meat. I'm kind of... I don't know. I don't know if I want all the meat. Uh, it's, I'm warm enough right now, so I, I could skin this one. Alright, let's... um. Let's get one and see how the temperature... Okay, temperature's starting to drop. It's getting a little foggier. This is a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm not sure if the fog's going to turn into a storm or not. Alright, this is also a lot that I'm carrying, so I need to be I need to be mindful of what I'm doing. I actually don't think I'm going to take the meat. Starting to I, me down. I can already hear people yelling at me. I know this is a lot of meat to be leaving behind, but I think I am in good shape, food-wise. I need to get out of here. Feels like 34 degrees, so thankfully it's actually not that cold. But while I was harvesting that, again, it could have gotten colder. The weather could have turned for the worse, and I could have found myself in a blizzard. So you have to be mindful. These are things that hold you to a specific location for a long period of time. We talked about this last episode. I was expecting this slope here. It should go up steeper, and then over it. Yes, this is exactly what I was expecting. Good, I'm walking in the right direction. On the other side of it, yeah, I can't run right now because I'm too encumbered. But on the other side of it should be... The Trapper's Homestead. Nice, thick fog. This is not the level of fog that you want to be stuck in when you don't know where you're going. 
if that's not clear. Because even when you do know where you're going, when it gets this thick, especially if there's wind and snow on top of it, <laughs> it'll wreck your day. Lots of firewood up here. I wish I could harvest it, but I'm already carrying a lot of other stuff. Okay. I want to make my way down this direction. If I come around this way, the snare should be kind of off to my left. I can hear bunny footsteps. Can you hear it? Hear the pitter-patter? Okay, well, whether or not the snare has dropped anything. Oh, there's actually a deer. I can hear a deer. Okay, I see the snare, but it doesn't appear to have caught anything, but that's fine. Because now we've got a rabbit carcass. So we're going to harvest this real quick. It's going to take about 48 minutes, not as long, because it's a tiny little thing, right? For those of you who like rabbits, I apologize for the horrible act I just committed. So yeah, there's the snare. Damn, saw me. Oh, wait. So did that one. Damn. <laughs> Two in a row. All right, so this one, unfortunately, this snare has been tripped. Not ruined, so we can take it again and set it back up again, which I'm actually going to do. Right there. You can also do that from the camp craft menu. Or is it from the... Um, I think it's from camp craft, right? Yeah, there it is. Right there. I could shoot another couple of bunnies right now if I really wanted to. But I'm, I'm being a little bit uh, gung-ho with my bullets. And again, generally not a good thing to do. So I'm going to step in here and get some rest because part of what's slowing me down so much is just how tired I am. I am really over-encumbered. I have a lot of stuff on me. More than I should, frankly. I kind of want to go back and get the rest of that meat, though. If I set up a nature's freezer here, I might be able to justify that. Especially if I eat some of this other meat. Yeah, let me go ahead and eat this. It's not going to be all of it. Now I need to get some rest. All right, yeah, let's also put down the rabbit meat. Let's come inside. So we are back at the trapper's homestead. There's lots of stuff I can break down in here for firewood as well. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to break down this wood. I'll break down this wood. Break down this chair. I'm gonna break down this table. It's gonna take an hour and 30 minutes. I'll break down this bench too. Just 15 minutes. Two more reclaim. Oh, requires light to break down. Just kidding. Not gonna do that. starting to slow me down. Yeah, it's because you're carrying a lot of wood. All right, I'm gonna use some accelerant again. I don't normally use this much accelerant, but we have a lot of fuel on us. We're playing on a lower difficulty level, so I'm just just to save time a little bit. Alright, the blizzard outside does not bode well for the other meat, unfortunately. That's not good. I'm going to go ahead and melt a gallon's worth of snow. Or a gallon's worth of water. Melt some snow to get a gallon's worth. And then we will boil this. this much gear. Oh, chill out. We'll be fine. And then what I think I'm going to do, since I'm carrying so many hides, I'm going to do what I don't normally do. I'm going to step over here. I'm actually going to drop the hides that I'm carrying. We have two deer hides and two wolf hides. I'm going to need to rest soon. I'm going to put them all down here. All the guts. And also the rabbit pelt. We're going to let it cure here. So we actually have a couple different spots where stuff is curing. Don't have to play that way. That's what I'm going to do. Now... I really should cook all that meat while I've got the chance. This is a nice long fire. Three hours left on it. I'm going to step outside and grab all that meat and cook it. I think I should be able to cook all of it. And I may still be able to go back and get the meat off of those corpses tomorrow. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer.
Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Again, any chance you have to make use of a fire. You should probably do so. This is all cooking skill. Every last bit of it. Cook the rabbit as well. Then we can put the cooked meat right back down in the freezer if we want. It'll be in good shape. Okay, that's everything, right? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and eat that. What we can of it anyway. Let's drink. We we're carrying a lot of water. So yeah, now it's definitely time to go back. If I wanted to, I could also cook the reishi tea and the rosehip tea right now. And a lot of players would argue that I should. Um, just because, again, just because it's in a cup, it doesn't mean that it's going to spill. I mean, intuitively, that's what I thought for the longest time, just in the back of my mind without even really consciously thinking about it. It is better to go ahead and cook all those items. Got an hour, 25 minutes, so you know what? Why not? Actually, no, I'm not going to cook all of it because I do, I want to sleep while it's dark, but I do want this one cook cup of tea because we need to rest and I want, I want to have some good quality rest. Actually, I think since we're at 97% condition, it might not help that much, but that's fine. All right, so go, let's go ahead and sleep for 10 hours. So we're going to sleep some of the day away. But it'll be warmer when we leave, and then hopefully if the weather's good, we can go back and find that deer. Okay. Now, we're pretty weighed down still. Believe it or not. What are we carrying that's so heavy? What did we find? Do I still have clothing items that I haven't messed with yet? Is that what it is? That's right. I still have some clothing items that are potentially good. So this... Alright. Nothing to change there. Nothing to change there. I do have a new hoodie. Right? The ragged hoodie is not that good. So, yeah, this is this has been an oversight of mine. I've been focusing on other things. We need to go ahead and get rid of this lower condition hoodie. Because it's not... We've already got a hoodie, and it's better condition. And we're also going to get rid of this worn cotton scarf. Because it's not as good as the item that we have. So this is something you can do as you get deeper into a game. Is just start thinking, well, I found some clothing, but don't really need it. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and harvest these as well. Because I already have some fleece mittens back at base camp. And I'd rather have the cloth in case I need to make myself another impromptu snow shelter. Everything else I am wearing. So that's a little bit better. We're carrying a lot of water. That's really what's weighing us down. We're also carrying an extra antiseptic. Notice how heavy the antiseptics are. It's a little bit nuts, but when you think about how heavy a full bottle of antiseptic is, it makes a lot of sense. All right, so we already went through here. These are curing. Let's step outside. Maybe chow down on a piece of meat before we walk away from it, right? Since we've got it. Always a good strategy. Right, there's that. And now let's see about getting that deer. 29 degrees right now, but we have visibility. That's the main thing. So if the temperature stays good, now granted this weather doesn't look great. If the temperature stays good, we will be able to get that, uh, that deer meat. But in the meantime, I will go ahead and cut this episode here and we'll grab that deer meat in the next episode, maybe spend a little bit more time exploring in the next one, um, as well as uh, going back and trying to make something of all this stuff that we've been curing. We've been spending some time away from the stuff that we set down at our first home base, so it's a perfect opportunity just to give it time to get ready in terms of crafting items with those cured hides and uh, cured saplings and such. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New science fiction, survival, and or simulation gameplay airs every single day at 6 p.m. Eastern time on my channel. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.